ندفع الغالي والنفيس والدم والروح يعني بس سمعت اصوات انفجار بس all the Christian infidels as far as the Islamic State is concerned rooted in this country we have 2000 years of roots of Christianity Kiranya mendukung channel ini dengan mengklik tombol subscribe dan aktifkan juga ikon loncengnya, like, comment, and share. والله أنا يعني بس سمعت أصوات انفجار بس يعني أخذت جهالي وطلعت برا وين أروح ما أدري يعني عبالك مثل مجنونة يعني With their strict and ruthless interpretation of Islamic Sharia law, many Iraqis fear a takeover by the Sunni extremist group now known as the Islamic State. But in the city of Karakosh, residents have an added reason to fear. Almost all are Christian, infidels as far as the Islamic State is concerned. This city is the home of a large part of Iraq's shrinking Christian minority, and now it sits just a few miles from the front lines of what appears to be the beginning of a sectarian war. Last week, the Islamic State attacked Korakosh. Almost everyone fled, including Basima Mikhail, her husband, and their five children. <laughs> بس هم بيت اخويا يعني هم كان الوضع بعد اسوء اي وطلعنا من القرقوش انا وعائله اخويا هم violence is nothing new to Iraq's Christian population it's like a cycle of every 10 years we have a catastrophe 67 73 then 80 we got a decade of war with Iran then 1991 then 2000, 2003, then now 2014. The Christian minority in Iraq exceeded 1 million 10 years ago. Now it's less than 400,000. Archbishop Marquis says the current situation has sparked a new wave of flight. Every day, he says, he helps Christians apply to immigrate abroad. It's good and it's bad. It's good for them to have a calm life for their children, but it's a desertification for our society. We are rooted in this country. We have 2,000 years of roots of Christianity. We have our graves, our uh, sanctuaries, our beautiful churches here in this country. It is a pity to consider if this country is completely emptied of its Christians. In an attempt to preserve this Christian heritage and protect their families, a security force of 1,200 local Christians was established in Korakosh almost a decade ago. They patrol the streets and church grounds and have managed to keep Korakosh safe from the bombings and kidnappings that often target Christians in other towns. This attack by the Islamic State is the most serious threat they have faced. At first, most of this security force fled along with the Iraqi army. The Kurdish Peshmerga forces moved in, keeping the Islamic State at bay. Those who remained of the Christian security forces fought alongside them. Local photographer Gibran Al Tony took these images, posting them on Facebook on a call for support in the fight from the men of Karakash who had fled. He said the response was overwhelming. 
The very next day, the office was full of hundreds of volunteers. Haytham Babawi was one of just 60 who never left his post. He says the situation is tough, but his city is worth the sacrifice. Now that the Kurdish and Christian forces have secured the city, even families, like the Simas, have begun to return. But with the Islamic State still camped on their doorstep, they face an uncertain future. On location in Korakosh, this is Tracy Shelton for Global Post. Thank you.